guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today I am all decked out for Valentine's Day because I am ready to spread the love. Dollar Tree has so many amazing Valentine's Day items out. I wanted to share with you guys some easy treats that you can make for someone that you love, your kids, yourself, your man. They're all from Dollar Tree and they're delicious. So these are super duper easy, something you can do last minute. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Be sure that you're still subscribed if you already subscribed to the channel. Hopefully YouTube did not unsubscribe you, so make sure the subscribe button is no longer red. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. All right, y'all, without further ado, let's get started on our first recipe. So since Valentine's Day is on a Sunday, you can make Sunday breakfast Valentine's Day style for your entire family. You can add these donuts to your breakfast. They're super inexpensive because you can find a six pack of donuts at Dollar Tree in the frozen section for just a dollar. So we're gonna get started by taking one package of those, the Pillsbury icing that is in vanilla. You're also gonna need milk, food coloring, and then I'm using a little bit of heavy cream, but it's not necessary. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our own glaze to dip the donuts in, and we're gonna make them pink and red. You could do whatever color you want, but you can also find the food coloring at Dollar Tree, so make sure you check in the baking section. I didn't follow any measurements. I just took a scoop of the icing, put it in a little bowl, and then I added a little bit of milk as I went. The cream makes it a little bit creamier and thicker, so just add a little bit, stir it up till it's kind of like that little thick consistency. You don't want it to be super thin. You don't want it to be super thick, so just make sure you're stirring and you're watching it. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Next, I went ahead and added in two drops of red food coloring and then continued to mix. Now we're gonna take our glazed donuts that I had sitting out from frozen. We're gonna dip those into the glaze mixture and then we're gonna put them off to the side. When you say you want me for life, was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya. Begging on my knees just to show ya. You're the one I want and I love ya. No, 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 no lie. Once all the donuts were dipped, I added sprinkles that I previously had to some of the donuts, and then I just went ahead and popped it right into the fridge for it to harden up. When it was ready to eat, I just put it out on a little tray, and it looks absolutely adorable. Super Valentine's Day. And they also taste good. The donuts are not bad at Dollar Tree, so I definitely would recommend adding this to your Sunday breakfast on Valentine's Day. happen to see my New Year's Eve video where I shared treat recipes. I talked about fortune cookies and I just think they're so fun because they're super inexpensive. They're affordable to do and you can dip them in chocolate and they taste bomb. So we're going to give these as a gift as a way of saying we're lucky to have you. We're lucky to be able to love you and it makes a really cute gift idea. So we're going to start with a box of the fortune cookies that you can find at the grocery store. I'm not sure if Dollar Tree sells them. I feel like I've seen them there but just in case they do sell them at the grocery store. We're also going to need some chocolate. I'm going to use the Ghirardelli white chocolate you can also use some of the candy melts that they have in red and pink totally up to you to get started we're going to take all of the fortune cookies out of the packaging and then we're going to melt all of our chocolate so i melted the white and i also melted the pink candy melts and i just did that in a double broiler To help thin out the chocolate and also to give it that nice glaze, I just add in a little bit of canola oil and continue to stir until it's all melted. Once the chocolate is melted, now we're going to dip the ends of our fortune cookie into the chocolate and put it onto some parchment paper. I did double dip them, so I dipped all of our cookies at once, put it into the fridge for a few minutes, probably like 15 minutes, took them back out and dipped them again. This way they have a nice thick coating of chocolate on them and it makes them taste even better. I 
found some of the cutest Valentine's Day boxes at Dollar Tree, so that's what I'm going to add some of my cookies into. You can use some of like that little crinkle paper that they sell at Dollar Tree, put the fortune cookies into the box, and then you can put some cellophane around it. You can also add it into one of the little wooden crates that they have in the craft section. You can fit about six of the cookies inside of there. Another way that you can give it as a gift is you can use one of the little heart boxes that they sell at Dollar Tree. You can put some of the crinkle paper into the box and then you can put three of the fortune cookies into the heart box and put the top on top. But this is just a few ideas if you want to give it as a gift, but do what you want. So I love the Dollar Tree cheesecake. It's from Enticingly Easy. It comes in a little box. You can make it as cheesecake or cheesecake balls. So we're going to make chocolate covered cheesecake balls, which are phenomenal must try so we're going to start by taking one box of the enchantingly easy cheesecake mix we're also going to need one thing of cream cheese and one thing of butter both of those should come room temperature so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make the cheesecake as it says on the box i'm using half a stick of cream cheese and half a stick of butter and i'm just mixing it together in a bowl i decided to put it into the freezer for about 30 minutes so that it will harden up and then we're going to roll it into little balls Next, you wanna go ahead and take the cheesecake out of the fridge and freezer, and now you'll be able to roll it into smaller cheesecake balls. So I'm just using a little bit of spray from the Dollar Tree, or this one might be from Acme. I'm just spraying the ball so that I can roll it into a little ball shape, and then I'm popping it right back into the freezer. This package made about six cheesecake balls, so if you want more, you might wanna do another box, but it's totally up to you. We did six, put them into the freezer, and we let them harden again. While those are in the freezer, I'm taking some of the graham crackers, and I'm just gonna bash them with a roll pin so that they get nice and crushed up there were some really uneven chunks so I just took a little sifter and sifted through so that I could have like a nice fine graham cracker crust ish <laughs> I'm not a baker y'all y'all know that I am NOT a baker I don't have very many good supplies I just go with it as I can once you have your graham cracker, you're gonna take the cheesecake balls out of the freezer or fridge. You can take a little skewer and stick it in there and then you're gonna roll the cheesecake ball into the graham cracker and then we're gonna put it back into the freezer. We're gonna do this for all of our cheesecake balls and then we're gonna get our chocolate ready. Using the same chocolate that we did for the fortune cookies, we're just gonna roll our cheesecake ball into the chocolate and then put it right into the freezer. If you wanted to have that thick coating on it of chocolate, you are gonna to wanna to double dip them, so go ahead and do another coating and put them back into the freezer to harden. Once they're done, you have a really easy dessert that tastes delicious. It actually tastes so good. If you guys have tried the cheesecake mix from Dollar Tree, let me know, but I absolutely would highly recommend it. And this is a great gift that you can either make for a friend, you can add to date night, you can give to your man if he likes cheesecake. So the next treat is definitely kid friendly, perfect for Sunday breakfast if you are going to be doing a Valentine's Day breakfast for the family. You're going to start by taking one box of the Dollar Tree waffles. These are frozen so we're going to start by taking them, toasting them, making them nice and warm and if you have a heart shaped cookie cutter that would probably be better but I'm just using the heart shaped box that I previously had. Sanitize it please, we don't want to have any coronavirus at our Valentine's Day dinner. We're trying to give love not corona, you know? So if you don't have a cookie cutter, this is definitely going to work. I just cut off all the extra ends, add it onto one of the Dollar Tree bamboo skewers, top it with some strawberries, and you can make a really cute setup with these because they look adorable and the kids will love them. At Dollar Tree, they have everything that you would really need to set up a cute family Valentine's Day brunch or breakfast. You could do dinner. They have all of the supplies that you need, so don't go anywhere else. So those ideas are all super quick, super easy, things that you can make last minute and on a budget. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that it gave you guys some ideas and inspiration. If it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up because it always helps me out more than you'll ever know. And if you're still here, then you are a real one. 
go ahead and leave the hidden word love bug in the comment section down below leave it in a funny snarky cute kind of way and i'll feature some of you guys in my next video here are a few real ones from my previous video Make sure you check in the description box for our social media so that you don't miss our gift basket video or the DIY. Also, you guys get caught up on our previous videos I've been uploading, so I have a bra review. I also have a getting it all done where we share a day in the life, grocery haul, my life as a mom, so those videos will be over here as well. I love you very much. I hope you guys are all safe, happy, and healthy, and I will see you guys over on Instagram and TikTok because I'll be there posting Valentine's Day gift basket ideas all this week. All right, y'all. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys.